we're gonna make my lemon risotto. I was just finishing chopping up some onion. I have one medium onion here. I keep my onions, as you guys know, peeled and ready to go in the fridge. I thinly slice it one way and then chop across, gather it up. And I'm getting my risotto pot hot right here with just enough oil to coat the bottom of the pan. What do I mean by risotto pot? Try and choose a pan if you have one in your home that has rounded corners like this. This is literally my risotto pan. I designed it. Um, but a risotto pot, if you wanna be able to develop the starch in the rice, that's why it's a benefit to have a round bottom pan. So see, I have this funny little spoon too, it's my risotto spoon, and it has a hole in the middle. Again, it's all about developing the starch in the rice. You don't have to have a risotto spoon, just use your regular kitchen spoon, your wooden spoon, your paddle. Now I'm just grating in a couple of cloves of garlic. We're going to add the zest of two lemons, a lot of lemon zest. We're going to add all of our rice, one and a half cups for four adult portions. Once we stir this around, let me get that rice toasted just a bit more, there we go. We're gonna add in about one cup of white wine. This is a nice crisp Tuscan white that I love. Tiberio. And make sure you scrape down your sides there. And then every time we add liquid to risotto, we let it absorb completely before we add the next layer of liquid. So once the wine is absorbed into the rice, you can see how this is just growing and growing already, right? The liquid is being absorbed by the short grain rice. Now we're going to add a few ladles of warm stock, chicken or vegetable. And the stock is on the absolute lowest heat on this front little burner here. And you're literally keeping this nice and hot so that every time we add the liquid, the liquid is already hot. It doesn't have to come up to temp. And we're just stirring, 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 working the edges of the pot and beating up that short grain rice to give it that creamy consistency we were talking about, that's how we develop it. Adding the liquid in stages and stirring each time. You don't have to stir it the whole time. Like now we're good. Now we're gonna let that absorb again. Up on top of the dish, we're going to chop about a cup, if you, if you look at it, loosely packed of mint, finely chopped. And these are pistachios. I finally chopped them, I toasted them, and finally chopped them. And I always, always, always finish the dish with pistachio and mint. Delicious combination for this. We're just about ready to serve, and I'm gonna add that drizzle of honey I told you about, or a tiny sprinkle of sugar. And then we're going to melt in a few pats of butter around the pot. Look how creamy and beautiful that is. Risotto should always be this consistency. It should remain pourable like polenta. And that creamy factor is not from heavy cream, of course, it's from developing the starch of the rice itself. And it's got the zest of two lemons in it. Now we're going to finish with the juice of two lemons. And then we're going to add our basil. Let the basil leaves wilt into the dish. And then we're going to stir in the Parmigiano cheese, about one cup. Pour some into our dish. And now we're gonna top it with our pistachios and mint. 